Good Saturday morning, Looney Tunes fans. It is I, Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic. And this is Freeze Frame. Oh my goodness, the weather outside is frightful. So let's go to the desert, right? Well, this is a, a very good looking copy of Freeze Frame, if I do say so myself. And I would say so myself because I am the type of guy to pat himself on the back needlessly. I made this, this little credit sequence here. Uh, reason for that is because, uh, well, I would, by the way, uh, these uh, little Latin, um, Latin things here, Latin words, whatever, Latin descriptions, that is the first time in a while that the those cartoons uh, had done that. Um, you know, I mean, obviously they only... They only do them in the Chuck cartoons, but, um, oh yeah, yeah, there was, um, nineteen sixty nine. That was the last time because this cartoon was made in, I want to say, yeah, nineteen seventy nine was when it was released. Uh, it was released actually. <laughs> it was released like the day before Thanksgiving. Um. And um, even though it's clearly a meant to be a, a, a Christmas thing. And uh, I made this this little uh, I dare I dare not call it a restoration, even though I could jokingly call it that of this cartoon. But I, I am responsible for this uh, copy that we're looking at now. Um, Pez was um, in touch with a guy. Who uh, you can, we we go into a little more detail in the uh, the shanty that Santa Claus built or whatever uh, commentary, um, but uh, he knows this knew this guy who was doing a, a film festival curating a, a festival of um, Looney Tunes cartoons, and this was in Santa Monica in uh, December, and uh, he had gotten you know he'd gotten the rights to uh, to use all these cartoons, and in fact he'd gotten a lot of them from Warner Brothers directly but the one that he one of the ones that he wanted was uh, that he couldn't get was freeze frame and now freeze frame this cartoon was made for not a paste up special but just a regular special and um, in that it was you know all the new all the animation is quote unquote new but really it's just they made three new shorts that ran together as a special and then they cut them up so that they could put them into syndication because I mean there's uh, I, I want to say definite network and cable airings of the of this cartoon that I've seen but with those opening credits that syndicated version hasn't had any kind of uh, a video release and apparently no one at Warner Brothers uh, was able to find it or was uh in possession of it. So rather than uh, ask around extensively and getting nowhere with it, uh, Pez just Pez knew I was able to uh, to restore some stuff uh, sometime. And again, I use it that term very loosely, re restored, quote unquote. Um, but um, you know, this the special this is from the Looney Looney, not the Looney, the Bugs Bunny's Looney Christmas Tales. It's on one of the golden uh, collection uh, discs. So I just grabbed that version. You know, I grabbed the, the, the cartoon from, from that and uh, recreated the titles. I, got a, I found a copy of the syndicated cut of this on like Daily Motion. So I, I got to see what the opening credits looked like and what music they used. It was obviously music from the special, music by uh, Doug. Uh, Good win. And also, uh, Sir, uh, Joe Syracuse, but uh, he, he, he gets uncredited, and I don't think he worked on this one. Because Goodwin worked on a lot of these. Uh, this was Chuck's return to, uh, to Warner Brothers, actually. And Doug Goodwin did uh, a number of things with Chuck, but uh, this was, let's see. Because he Chuck came back, and he kind of didn't leave um, until 1997, 
uh, which is the year I graduated high school. Uh, he, uh, he, he, he supposedly retired in 97. Um, Chuck did. Uh, but this... It's kind of the beginning of the end for me. Um, you know, at the end of the end, or the end of the beginning, I guess, for, for a Chuck fan, me speaking as a Chuck fan... Was uh, was the MGM stuff, but uh, this is this as a, as a a Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner short. I do put this above all of the uh, De Patty Freeling, you know, Rudy Lariva directed stuff. Um, you know, and I don't think uh, Chuck Chuck was his own story man on this one. Yeah, him and, him and uh, John Dunn. Also, uh, somebody who does deserve uh, some, some kudos on this, that worked on this, that didn't get credit, is Mark Kausler. As uh, Dave Spafford has often called Mark, the, uh, <laughs> the, the know-it-all of the, of the Looney Tunes world. Um, he, can, he, can, he can imitate almost any style, the great Mark Kausler, so... Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's freeze frame, everybody. And, uh, that's going to do it for this week's commentary. See you next week.